Hey, how's it going everybody? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we're covering how to get the crossover tool from Code Weavers working on your Linux PC. So this is probably the best tool to use if you need Windows software and you do not want to tinker with Wine. It is by far the best. It isn't a free product by any means. It does cost money, but it is very worth it and you support you know, you, you can support the developers and these people regularly contribute to Wine and make it better, so it's always a good idea. But to start off, you can download the demo, click on the For Linux button here, download the free trial, and uh, check the link in the description and learn how to install it. Once you've got it installed, go ahead and look for Crossover in your setup here. And as you can see, I already have Notepad++ installed. But to install new software, all I gotta do is click the Tools, Install Software, and then I can go ahead and find the correct software that I need. And uh, that kind of software, you can show available applications, and this is going to show you the supported ones, the ones that work very well. So I'm going to find a small tool that I can quickly get just because we need to, to be quick here. I don't know what to install. Hmm. Let's do XML Notepad. Okay, let's try that seems to be pretty sm pretty small in footprint. Click continue and uh, click the install button. Now this is going to go through and as you can see it's downloading the net framework, the Microsoft rendering engine, the tools, everything that you would possibly need to run the software and it sets it up automatically. And uh, when that trial comes up just click try now. It's going to install Internet Explorer 7. Uh, kind of weird to see on a Linux desktop but it's probably worth it for the tool that I'm installing. Uh, and the good thing about Crossover is it creates these things called bottles, and these bottles contain everything you need to run something perfectly, and everything on the list is super tested, so everything is guaranteed to work. So we just go through and follow the instructions to install the program as usual. You know, like if you're using Windows, how you normally and usually install it, and everything should go off without a hitch. So when all of the Microsoft Core components are installed, generally the installer for the tool that you want to use pops up. So I can go through, I can accept the terms for the software agreement, I can click Next and go through and install it and finish it. It will get everything that I need, and we have XML Notepad, a Windows program from 2007 working perfectly on my Linux desktop. And I can launch it, and it should work just fine, and we have the XML Notepad. Now, I know this is an older tool, and generally, if you're going to use this tool, you should be using and trying to install software that's much newer. But because this is a video, I don't exactly have time to sit around and wait for a 50 gigabyte file or game or something to install. So I thought I'd demonstrate this. Everything in their application list is tested to work, though, so it will work. And uh, as always, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please check the link in the description to learn more about how to use Crossover on Linux. And I will see you in the next video.